GoPro. Today is Sunday, 19th of July. Fogging up Windows 2020. We are leaving the gym for another lovely hot warm shower. But um yeah feel productive already today GoPro we've done a few things got up early went to the laundromat did that now gym shower it's um well it's good to start the day pretty well really think about food now GoPro I had a lovely butter chicken yesterday morning from Woolworths so I think I may even do the same today I haven't really got much to talk to you at all. Weights at the gym, so I'm like reading this Runner's World magazine. I did those phases yesterday, so today's the start of week 26. So we're doing those phase runnings yesterday, one, two, three. Which I think is a good technique, strategy for a marathon. And I was reading that talking about like doing weights as well. And they said, remember, you're a runner that does weights, not a weightlifter that runs. And I'm like, that's interesting. I remember at the start of the year, when I was like pumping the weights, I was, um, I remember there was a few times before that um, Dust Till Dawn 100 where I was feeling like a bit bulky. I was feeling, yeah, almost too sort of puffed up, which was, um, it's always good for the Gold Coast GoPro, good for a bit of vanity, the old beach weights, but um, what's this cyclist mean? I hate cyclist GoPro, like in all seriousness, absolutely hate them. I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't hate anyone, but bloody hell they're annoying. So, yeah, so in, with that in mind, talking about the gym work, weight they were talking about there's no point doing a whole bunch of reps and stuff focusing on muscular endurance because when you're running that's muscular endurance running for two hours yeah getting your endurance so what you should be doing focusing on power and strength because that's what we kind of did today we did the leg weights and instead of like doing my normal leg weights of I do sort of like a, almost a pyramid, sort of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100, 80, 60, 40, 20. And doing like high reps on that. Which today I just put on 70 and pumped out some, just like eight reps of, and four sets. So just for power, then a couple other ones. And then like with the weights too. So instead of doing like a whole bunch of sort of shoulders, long progressions and stuff, I thought, oh, I'll just do, I'll increase the weight a little bit and just do a couple sets of eight. So that's what I did. So I did like 27 and a half on the shoulder press, doing um, yeah two sets of eight, did one of seven. So I was sort of fatiguing towards the end. So that's kind of cool. So I think that could be the go, just like more sort of power strength at the gym, which I was kind of doing towards the end of last year, started this year when I was feeling bulky anyway. I was on a bunch of stuff though. I was taking, I was probably taking too many sort of amino acids, protein powders. I was eating steak and salmon nearly every day. Getting like really buff and I was feeling heavy and slow. So I wanted to do that though, because after last time Gold Coast 50, I didn't feel I had the strength. The legs were all, um, cramping up and fatigued. I was lean, I felt lean, I felt fit, but yeah, I didn't feel strong. 
GoPro. Monday, 20th of July, 6.30 in the morning. Early morning yoga, stretching, rolling. I feel good. I feel kind of loose now. Real good yoga, real good stretch. A little bit of meditation, a little bit of mindfulness. Just getting ourselves ready for the new moon tonight. New beginnings, organization. Actions today are uh, to go to the beach, have a shower, go to the uni, do some uni, go to work, do some work. What a lovely way to spend a Monday. Say buddy. Morning GoPro. Not really, it's 11.40 so it's probably not really morning, but leaving the uni Tuesday 21st of July 2020 after what I can only describe as a productive morning GoPro. We are on track buddy, woohoo! I feel like I've just done five hours of discrimination, disability, differentiation, adjustment, accommodation, um, learners of various ability, blah, blah, blah. I think I may almost be an expert GoPro. Obviously not, but I feel like I've actually learned something today. So now we're gonna go get some food and go to work. And then tomorrow, try and remember everything we just did then. But all the stuff we did then is stuff you kind of basically need to know so you can do the 50%, two and a half thousand word report that's due in a month. So I'm like, well, right, I'm gonna try and, instead of trying to write the assignment, I'm gonna try and actually learn the stuff and then I can do the assignment. Which I think is the whole point of it all, GoPro. So that's what we just did. We just decided to just print off a whole bunch of documents and papers and websites and just do a whole lot of reading. So I think my eyes are a bit wonky. So I probably shouldn't be talking to you because I crashed my car yesterday, GoPro, you silly bugger. Because I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. I was not being mindful in a car park and I got a nice little scrape on the side of my car, GoPro. Which is very silly because it's the same car park I go to nearly every day up here to go to food. But I'm like, ah, oh, I'll just take this corner next to the cement pole. And ah, oh, I'll just hit the pole because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Obviously, you can see we're still driving GoPro, so there's nothing too bad, but a little bit of cosmetic damage. Just like me, GoPro, a couple scars here and there, a little bit of cosmetic damage. Don't want to die without any scars. GoPro. A little bit of a history of what's been happening. So at least now we've got a history of what's happening with the car as well. So I wasn't going to go to the car park, but I thought to myself, well, when you have these setbacks in life, you have to go back to the scene, scene of the crime, get through it. So I'm going to go to the same car park. I'm going to go past the same cement pole, and I'm not going to hit the cement pole this time. Gonna actually be able to get around to. That's me, GoPro, an absolute idiot, but full of information today. That's the best we can do, buddy. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh yeah, we did have like a mad like run this morning too. So at the gym, level 10, 2.5% incline, 30 minutes, 5Ks real good sweat, like I was literally dripping, then I had a shower, then I was still dripping and came out of it. So I think that's a good thing, GoPro, you're just getting good sweat, a couple pimples, that's why we haven't really been doing the eating, so we're back on the intermittent fasting, so we're sort of cleansing the body a little bit, new moon tonight, rash, rebuild, interview tomorrow, interview the next day, so hopefully by Thursday we'll have three interviews done for our project, be on track for this disability project. I probably might even start trying to write that in the next couple of days, just get that sort of ticking over. We'll do our dance thing for this week, then we'll check in a Hope Island, and then we'll start school prac next week. Probably have to do a little bit more for the school prac. I haven't really actually read all that sort of garbage, so I've been doing other subjects, but I think the next couple of days we'll, yeah, probably Friday, Saturday, Sunday, really get organized with what we need for the GTPA 5,000 word report for a five week school prac. Enough 
of me talking GoPro. Goodbye. Morning GoPro. Wednesday 22nd of July 2020. Just pulled up to Rabina. Just did some weights at the gym. Feel pretty good. Did more leg weights. Power strength. About quarter past eight. About 8.30 maybe. I guess I'm to eat. Shop's open at nine. I want to go to Johnny Big here. This is the Johnny Big at Harbour Town. I only got one sort of polo top for school. Got some shorts at ASICS, which was good. I kind of maybe got some polo tops from last crack, but not too happy with a couple of them. So I want to get maybe two or three more. So hopefully Johnny Big has them and they're not like too expensive. I paid 40 for the one at Harbour Town on like 10, 20 bucks. If you go too cheap, they look, they look too cheap. So you gotta pay a little bit, just kind of look the part. Yeah, that's it. That's today, GoPro. That interview this hour at 4.30. Thanks, Zoe. And then, yeah, maybe a work thing tonight. Yeah. Hey, GoPro. So, Thursday 23rd, I think. July 2020. Walking back from the gym. Did 10.6 incline. Had on t level 10, going for 30 minutes. I only got to 20, I had to put it back. Kept it on the incline for the 33 and did 5Ks, but just thought I had to scale it back. I just didn't have, just didn't, didn't have it. I was trying to push, I was trying to, in the head, oh yep, da da da, but I just did not have it. I think, um, I don't know if I'm getting run down or not, so I was feeling it a bit yesterday. So I booked into a hotel for the next couple of nights before we go up to Coomera for the prac next week, so I don't know, I don't know whether it's a mental thing whether I'm trying to juggle research project, learning support, dance plus get organised for this five week prac starting in a couple of days so I checked in yesterday, had a good sleep, probably a good 12 hours slept in today, got up about 9 Went to the gym now, walking back now to the little hotel. Got like a good steak, broccoli, blueberry, strawberries. I sort of good sort of food. So hopefully that should see us through, but yeah, don't really feel quite 100%, but I don't know whether I'm overthinking it or not, GoPro. So yeah, good sweat today, really good sweat. Like I'm literally dripping, but I just didn't have that. Yeah, just didn't have that extra kick, so. Mind you, level 2.6 incline on level 10, you're basically sprinting up a hill. So, <laughs> I did the 2.5 two days ago and did that for 30 minutes at Rabina Jets with the open air. So, this one, less air, more stuffy, more sweaty. I don't know if that has an effect or whether, you know, just two days ago had an effect or whether, say, the last month, because with these gyms being open the last month, last couple of weeks I've been doing yeah two incline runs plus that big Saturday run plus two sorts of good weights plus all the uni stuff every day so I think maybe if you look at it as almost like a mini cycle we've almost cycled pretty intense so for the last four or five weeks so if we sort of cut back on that Maybe this first week at the prac next week, it's probably a good thing. So I was still gonna go for a biggish run on Saturday. That's sort of 20, 25 Ks, but yeah, it might not be the best pace. I feel like my calves are a bit sore now, so I'll go to where I am, put like some sleeves on, compression, eat well, transcribe an interview this afternoon, and um, yeah. Probably just want to have yeah, three or four nights good, just recovery, head space, good sleeping, and then yeah, we're sort of prac Monday morning. Really don't want to get sick, really don't want to get run down, so <coughs> really hope that's not anything happening, GoPro. So that's why we've got to be on top of these things. So we'll um, drink plenty of water, just do a little kombucha, sweat, protein. Yeah, so that's where we're at GoPro. We're on top of everything. 
but it's literally just like day to day we can't sort of just do nothing and get behind so today this afternoon it probably takes a good three four hours to transcribe zoe's interview yesterday which is awesome she gave us some really good stuff like big long detailed answers so writing that out is going to take a little while so i'll get that done today at least we feel like we've done something and then tomorrow do this dance learning support and then prac so it's not going to stop for the next two months three months gopro but i think we just have to be aware of where we're at hey abby morning gopro so friday 24th of july 2020 about 20 past eight just did some yoga stretching push-ups squats feel good just a good like sort of stretch get the body going but we'll still have a little bit of our tailwind nutrition a rebuild with our patent pending mathematical model that results in high efficient complete protein which means that more protein goes directly toward your recovery we start with organic rice protein and supplement it with amino acids then we add the right amounts of carbohydrates and electrolytes to make you feel better faster well done tailwind nutrition so i have that black coffee lovely little unit thing here um yeah, what was I talking about? Something? Yeah, what I'm doing today, GoPro, being organized for this prac. So we've done two interviews the last couple of days. We transcribed one yesterday. Going to transcribe the other today. Finish off the week three activity for dance and gymnastics. Look into learning supports frameworks. Do the GTPA organization for our prac on Monday. Do a load of washing, get a haircut. Get some food, might cook up a nice salmon if you've got like someone to cook up here. That's about, it could almost be a GoPro. Really maybe trying to not get sick, not get croaky, which we almost feel like we are a little bit, so it's annoying. So we'll eat well, salmon, blueberries, strawberries, cauliflower, vitamins, might have an extra vitamin C or two today. And yeah, get this place organized, get out here tomorrow, might go for a good run in the morning, and then, yeah, check out of here, go up to Upper Kumaro, check into Upper Kumaro, Hopefully that joint's good, get organized, iron some work shirts, eat well, sleep well, just recover. We want to be getting a good 10, 12 hours of the next few nights, which we have. Sunday, gym, Sunday morning, relax, everything organized, printed, ready to go, what we need. I'm almost about even buying a printer because they're only 30 bucks, in cartridge 30 bucks. And I can have that at night at Upper Coomera and like print off lesson plans and things for the next days. I think that could be a good go. But I'm happy I got through those interviews this week. So we'll transcribe up. So that's almost like a mental thing. Okay, research project interviews, they're done. And then we can sort of move on. It's going to be a pretty big five week crack on the GoPro. Which is why we're doing this. Just a bit of. Yeah, this is the space. Oh, there, maybe you can see it. With the old. You know, little overcast, rainy morning. Yeah, it's quite lovely, I would say. Let's put you up here. But yes, we did a bit of a dance before for dance and gymnastics. Nothing too exciting, but I'm kind of really glad I got this place. So I know the first night I literally slept for 12 hours. Last night I was in bed about 10, got up just before 8. So it's 
that about 10 hours. I do the same tonight, so she's good sleep, recovery, get everything right and eat well. So steak yesterday, blueberries, nuts, strawberries, have again the same today. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Do it. Morning GoPro. Saturday 25th of July 2020. Just did a two hours, 10 minutes, a 33 second run here at Eleanora Palm Beach. As you can see, it's a bit rainy out there. Um, up to North Burnley and back. We're doing like the phase three running, so I think that's probably a similar distance that we have been doing. So, first 45, slowish. Next bit, phase two, last bit, try to push it. That's the go. It's out. Um, oh. So, I think that's the go, the three phases of running. But yeah, the difference between phase two and three wasn't probably as noticeable as last week. Yeah, I don't think, I think I've been doing it, that's probably six now, 20k runs on a Saturday morning. I've done the row with incline runs, treadmills, I'm literally sprinting basically up a hill a couple times a week during the week. Weights and stuff as well a couple times a week. I had a pretty solid month of training. But then I probably had a pretty solid month just in the head with uni and stuff as well. So I'm pretty happy with that today because I was going to not set an alarm and just sleep in and do basically nothing today, but I'm like, oh, no, I'll do it. Probably be good for a bit of headspace, mindfulness, and it always is that sort of big long run. Even though I'm constantly, every five minutes, tailwind, every sort of thing, doing the phases, but it just feels good, just set yourself up now. So I was thinking now, right. Okay, so now I'll shower, get out of here, get time to eat, go down to the uni, print off like what I need for the prac, upload this, upload the dancing thing, finish the dancing thing off, then drive up to Hope Island where we've got the next hotel, check in there, try and get organised, and tomorrow get organised, and then Monday we're at this prac, it just doesn't seem, It doesn't seem like I've got enough time to scratch myself these days, but like yesterday I did the transcribing, I was doing like the dance gymnastics thing, I was just getting loopy in the head, I just had to lay down, and I just sort of watching a garbage movie, a bit of mindfulness, I just hope the next few weeks aren't too crazy. I think having that extension for the project is good. I think I'm not really 100% on top of this prank, so <laughs> that's a bit annoying. It's all I do today and tomorrow to decide know exactly what's what. But then I'm doing like the other subjects as well, so that's where it gets a bit annoying. It's like, okay, I'll finish off this dance and gymnastics thing. And in my head, I'm like, I've got that learning support massive assignment that's kind of due at the same time the prac report's due. And then I've got a couple others after that. So, yeah. I think all we do is just day at a time. But it's just, yeah, it's just going to be an interesting few weeks, I think, GoPro. So, this is the end of week 26. I'll upload you, and then yeah, next time I talk to you will probably be at Hope Island somewhere. It rains lovely on the road. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, very lovely, very lovely little place.